The Albright defense forced eight turnovers, including five interceptions, leading the 17th ranked Lions to a 51-6 Middle Atlantic Conference victory over FDU Florham on Saturday at Robert T. Shields Field. The Lions remained undefeated on the season and in first place in the MAC standings by improving to 6-0 overall and 5-0 in conference play. Albright got on the board early in the second quarter when Louis Quinones intercepted a Joseph McCain pass late in the first quarter. The Lions then drove 57 yards in 10 plays and Chris Dawson capped the drive with a 7-yard scoring run to give Albright a 6-0 lead. FDU Florham answered with a game-tying touchdown march on its next possession. The Devils went 73 yards in 12 plays and found the end zone when McCain connected with Eshawn Mobley from 7 yards out. Albright answered on its next drive to take the lead for good. Mike Knight capped the drive with a 31-yard scoring strike to Kari Jefferson, giving the Lions a 13-6 lead with 3.38 to play in the second quarter. Steve Barroso then intercepted his fourth pass of the season on the Devils' next drive to set the Lions up on the FDU floor and 20-yard line. The Lions needed just two plays to reach the end zone as Knight found Gerard Gaynor from 16 yards out to extend the Albright lead to 20-6 with 2-11 remaining in the second quarter. Albright opened the second half by marching 82 yards in 12 plays to take a 27-6 lead with 10-12 to play in the third quarter. Dawson capped the drive with a one-yard scoring plunge, his second touchdown of the game. After FDU Florham drove deep into Albright territory, Colton Ryan intercepted McCain and returned it 75 yards to the Devils' 10-yard line. Romello Monroe found the end zone on a one-yard scoring run to push the Albright lead to 34-7 with 7.54 to play in the third quarter. The Lions stretched the lead to 37-6 late in the third quarter. Albright drove 40 yards in seven plays, and Daniel Sobolewski drilled a 32-yard field goal, which broke the Albright career field goal record previously held by Dennis Unger. It marked the 45th career field goal for Sobolewski, Dante Thomas intercepted McCain on the Devils next drive at the Albright 7-yard line and returned it 31 yards to the Albright 38-yard line. But the Lions turned the ball over on a fumble at the FDU Florham 33-yard line. But the Lions responded on the third play of the Devils drive when Grant Baylor intercepted a McCain pass and returned it 33 yards for a touchdown, upping the Albright lead to 44-6 with 12-13 to play in the game. Following a fumble recovery by Chris Oliphant, Albright drove 53 yards and five plays to extend the lead to 51-6. Quarterback David Gavrilov connected with Kyle Dickerson on a 34-yard scoring strike to finish off the drive. Albright will host Delaware Valley on Saturday in a key MAC game scheduled for a 1 p.m. kickoff at Shirk Stadium. I, I tell these guys this all the time, but you know, every Saturday is, is another opportunity for us to uh, take another step towards reaching our full potential and, and today was no different and you know it, it certainly was not uh, as complete a game as last week in terms of every unit clicking uh, on almost every series uh, you know, we got off to a slow start today you know we had we had short fields um, you know on, on offense and, and we were unable to capitalize and come away with points um, you know we, we missed two field goals today I believe um, you know the first two missed field goals that we had um, and then we had a, you know, we had a, an errant snap and a bad hold, and and so we had some some issues in the kicking game, and um, you know, uh, defensively, you know, we allowed them to drive the field on us, you know, one time and score, and we, we gave them, you know, uh, you know, a couple of first downs on, on some stupid penalties, you know, but what I was most pleased with was how we came out in the second half and we finished things the right way. Defensively, I think we created eight turnovers today, five interceptions, three fumbles. Um, you know, kicking game started making plays, you know, in the second quarter and, and into the second half. And then offensively, you know, we were able to run the ball, you know, very well. I mean, we had a couple of, you know, passing touchdowns, you know, as well. But we were able to run the ball, I think, very well. I think our running backs did a nice job today. And, you know, we're, we're we're kind of in a in a unique position that we're we're using three running backs and they all give us something a little bit different. We're able to keep all of them fresh, and um, you know they were fighting for yards today and, and fighting for first downs and um, you know getting yaks after contact and, and so you know I, I was pretty pleased with that. And, and again, one, once again, the thing I'm I'm most happy about was how we finished today. To, to play the way we did in the first half, you know that was. Uh, it was just a little bit sloppy, but coming out in the second half, I think we, we cleaned some things up at halftime and uh, 
know, we were able to, to play the way we wanted to. And, you know, the important thing for us moving forward is we, we can't wait till halftime, you know. And, uh, you know, we've got a, a, a tremendous test here next weekend. We've got Delaware Valley coming to town. And uh, once again, we're playing for the MAC championship uh, on another Saturday. And, um, you know, we've got to get off to a faster start than we did today for us to take that next step towards reaching our full potential.